Hello there. Happy Thursday. Thank you for joining me here. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. It's a time where we can relax and craft together for about an hour. And I work on projects from beginning to end so you can be part of the whole process along the way. And just come and chit chat. Uh, have some crafty time together. Um, all right, we are continuing on the Splendid Sampler 2 quilt along. And we are working, there's a hundred different blocks in this. We're on our 44th one and we're working on the, the Happy Willow. There's two different colorways that they have shown in the book here. Uh, it is partially paper pieced and the rest is just normally, normally pieced, like cut, cut strips that are sewn together. Um, so we have done the paper piecing part. That's the more intricate diagonals. And now we're gonna start sewing things together. We have a little section that we made last night that we'll sew to it. Uh, and then we have to actually cut fabric again because I only cut enough for the next step. <laughs> so we'll sew these together and cut some fabric and sew some more. So thanks again for coming everyone. And uh, I hope I've seen some of your happy willow blocks in the Penguin and Fish Crafters group and they're looking amazing. Uh, so uh, if, you have, if you're working on this block, make sure to share it in the group there. Um, all right, I'm gonna flip you around. Let's get going on this tonight. Oh, I will be, I'll, I'm not planning on going anywhere. Oh, that, that comment went by, so I'm not gonna be at whatever event that is. <laughs> I will be here uh, stitching stuff. Um, but all right, you guys, so here's, here's where we got uh, last night. And uh, this side looks like it was about the right size, so I'm confident about that one. But this one, I must have, uh, you know, just was a, a hair off. Actually, I'm quite a bit off. I'm I'm like an eighth of an inch off. So we'll have to putz with that one a little bit. I wonder why that is. Is this just shorter? Maybe I just made this. Maybe I just trimmed it too much. What if I stretch it a little bit? Well, anyway, we're gonna try and sew these together. So in theory, you can just uh, put the right sides together and sew your scant quarter inch. I thought I'd just double check that a little bit with uh, my wonder clips here. So I'm gonna line that edge. I'll just line up the top edge and you know, we'll have that little extra bit at the bottom, I suppose. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to put this, there's a little marking on the bottom of these. Uh, you can you can see it has a, a few, let's see, maybe it's easier to see with it on. Eh. There's a few markings on the bottom. There you can kind of see. There's one there and a second one right there. That second notch is a quarter of an inch. So uh, uh, if I put this on top of my seam, at that second line, then this should be a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna do that for these two other seams, and then I'm gonna just uh, flap it open and see how close the seams are. Um, and then, then if they're close enough, then I should just be able to sew my quarter inch, you know, especially aiming for these points, and we should be able to get this right. And we could use some pins to figure this out too, so we can do that as well. But I thought I'd play with that line on the wonder clips. So there we go. I got I I have it lined up with the second line on those wonder clips, and now hopefully they will be a little bit together. So actually, this one looks like it may might be off that point. Ooh, those look like they might be a little off too. So I'm wondering if. Um, you know, since this piece is a little bit bigger, I wonder if I should have erred on scooching up more of the white part. Maybe I should just kind of center this a little bit because you know how I did it a little longer. Honestly, what I should really redo, uh, really do <laughs> if I want it exact is I should redo that, that piece. And you know, I'm really putzing around here. I could just sew down the edge and, and be done with it because who knows if 
if my quarter inch seam allowance is going to be so perfect anyway. And I think that's what, probably what we'll end up doing here. I'm just playing around though. There, actually, there now, now that matches up quite a bit better. Oh, both, all of those points do, don't they? So, all right, I think, I think we'll leave it right there. So you can see I'm going over the edge a little bit there and actually a little bit here too, just because I didn't line them up all that well. Okay, for this one, you know, another thing you can do is you can kind of mark, uh, like if you take a, like right sides together, and if you take a quarter inch, just do like a measure a scant quarter inch or so, you can take a pin, and I want to go through the seam right at that scant quarter inch, which is about right there. Let's just lift up on there. There, and I'm and I'm hitting that seam, so I'm pretty close. I could. Uh, what I can do is I know this, on this side it's that scant quarter inch, so on this side as long as I'm, ooh, that's actually really good. I'm fitting right into that seam. So as long as these are straight, they should be matching up. So let's just test on these other two points that we want to match up. Let's just get, <laughs> this is goofy, I've never really done it this way before, but it's kind of fun. Let's do our scant quarter inch there. There we go. Your clip has the first line marked. Oh, as the, oh, on mine, so I just measured, oh, you know what, I, I'm using these super mini clips, Genie. so um, maybe the mini clips are a little bit different. So here's the normal standard size, and then there are some that are much bigger. Um, so let's, I, I just measured, so let's, I gotta, I gotta grab one of the mini clips, clips out of here, and we'll just take a look. So, let's just grab a ruler, and there, see, now you can see, oh, against this red, it's much easier to see. So, I have that kind of, let me see if I can point a little bit better. There's uh, this line here, and this line here is what I measured as a quarter inch on my ruler. So, let me just check that out again. There, a quarter inch. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, a full quarter inch is right on that that second line for, for the mini clips. I don't even think, I'm not sure this actually opens up to a full half inch. Oh, I might have to go like way, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta put this the entire way in to get to the, to get to that half inch. So yeah, definitely that, that second kind of little line is the quarter inch mark. But all right, so I did, did this guy and he's pretty much going through that seam there. We can peek. Oh, it looks like I have to shift it a little bit. It looks like it's not, not quite in that seam. So I could undo this a little bit and just scooch it over. There, we're getting, we're getting pretty crazy here. <laughs> <laughs> this, I would not usually do this. I would just not care at all and I would just shimmy it down the line. But, you know, we're playing with with some ideas here. Thought I'd give this a try. I haven't really done this before, so. All right, here's another quarter inch. Let's, let's do that last seam at our scant quarter inch. Oh, there, that looks like it went through pretty well, but let's let's peek. Oh yeah, it's right in that seam line. So, all right, so as long as our edge is matched up and these are all kind of straight, then we should be good right there as well. <laughs> so, uh, you know, obviously I can't stay like this, so I'm going to, with the, with the pins like this, uh, but as long as they're in the right spot, now I can make them go sideways and, and it should be, we should be good still. I'm taking them all the way out though and putting them in that same hole because if I just if I just move them like this, then the whole this bottom one will shift too and I don't want that. So all I'm doing is taking it out and then putting it in sideways the same way. So um, I won't be going through that same hole here 
but I will be holding things together. All right, and then I'm gonna aim for that first little bit. We'll see, I haven't used pins in a while. Let's see if this works. We're running a little experiment today with these tools. At least an experiment for me. All right, let's try and sew these guys together and see what we got. See how close we get to these matching up. And you know, this also depends on, yeah, how straight I can sew and all that. So, uh, you know, I'm a human. We're gonna use, we're gonna get it as good as <laughs> a random human can get it tonight. All right, so again, I'm, I'm trusting my scant quarter inch that I have here, but I'm also gonna be aiming for where those, oop, I gotta take out my little fabric piece that I had in there so, so I wouldn't get a mark on my motor pulley. All right, so I, I'm aiming towards this point. All right, I think we're getting there. Going for mega accuracy with, with this, so let's see. Now I'm nervous. Hopefully it, it turns out right, because I spent a lot of time putzing around with it, didn't I? All right, let's do the other one right away. So that was the one using pins. And now here's the one where we kind of matched it up with these wonder clips. This is that one that was too big. So let's see how we do on that. Again, I'm gonna ugh, air on the side. Okay, that ended about right there. Air on the side of my scant quarter inch that we have me measured with the blue. Okay, that, I took that off about right there. All right, and then I get this guy off right away, about right there. I like my little stiletto as a little pointer tool. All right, I need my little baskets on the ground. I gotta get that. I know, 80% good, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm going for 97% good this time around. Yeah, 80% good is what I, what I typically shoot for, and I figure, meh, that is plenty good enough. And really, once you get going on something, you know, things kind of fall in place anyway, but I thought I'd play with this, matching those up a little bit today. Try and get real perfect. <laughs> Let's see how we did. All right, so this first one was with pins. Let's take a look at that. Let's see how close we got. Oh, that looks pretty. Pretty good, pretty, pretty good. So the top one won't match up, because remember, we're gonna get a quarter inch off the top once this is sewn uh, into the whole quilt. So we are just concerned with these three, and the, that's looking perfect. And these are these are matching up pretty dang swell as well there. Okay, I like it, that's pretty dang good. Okay, now this is the one with the wonder clips, and I can already tell that my stitching is crooked. I do this a lot, like I, I'm starting, at, except I usually do it opposite. I started out a little skinnier there and I ended up a little wider. Usually I do the other way around, but let's see what this one looks like. All right, I think that's pretty good. And let's see how we did on these. All right, I think that's acceptable too. Well, obviously it's acceptable, but like um, this one I would say is a little shushed up a little bit more than the other one. But remember, this is the one that I had a, a little bit bigger piece. Like I, I didn't sew this piece very well on this one. Um, or actually I think it was this piece I cut too small or something. So this one was a little harder to match up, but I think that is pretty dang good as well. But man, that uh, this bottom one, that's that's looking really good. But that uh, that pin, that pin one, that one's pretty dang awesome. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling great about those. A lot of putsy work. I could have just sewn it and it would have probably been the exact same thing, but eh, it's fun to, fun to get all exacty sometimes. All right, so we pre I'm gonna press them and we, it looks like we press towards the small little edge. All right, let's scoop that there. Okay, um, let's 
let's uh, just give it a little press with that on top. And then we'll scooch it this way. This is a lot of fabric in this seam allowance right now. All right, I think I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit more just to really, really get it flat. But um, that's looking good. Look at that. <laughs> I was a little nervous how that would go tonight. Oh, I got like marker all over me again. Okay, let's do this one. Did it once. <laughs> Does that mean we have to go back to pins? I think, um, I think the one with the wonder clips would have been I mean, actually, I think that one turned out really well, too. Uh, if if I had made that one piece so that they were ending up the right size, the same size, I think that one would have been um, as good as well. And really, it is. They both turned out pretty dang good, I think. I'm really happy with it. So I think this is the one that... Um, oh, gosh, now I don't even know. Which one was the... This is the one with the... Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. Or was it? <laughs> now I don't even know which one was the pins and which one was... Oh, this longer one. The longer one was the clips. Actually, I think that one's looking better now. <laughs> Maybe I just had to press it open. So uh, clips and pins, they look uh, equally as good, I think. <laughs> All right, let's, let's hit them one more time. I am happy with both. They both worked just fine. Yeah, it, it's it's hard to visualize a little bit because remember, you are chopping off a quarter inch of the diagonal. So when you just have them next to each other, they won't line up at all and it'll look crazy. So that's why that's why we putzed around um, with that quarter inch for a little while just to wrap our heads around a little bit. But that looks awesome. They both look amazing. Yeah, feeling good. <laughs> all right. Uh, can you tell I'm happy about that? Moving on, people. All right, so I have not cut anything else yet. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm kind of cutting as, I go and, uh, as I'm going with this particular block. I don't always do that, but when I feel like I'm going to get confused along the way with pieces everywhere, then some sometimes I'll cut as I go. Uh, and I think maybe I just wanted to get started with the paper piecing right away, so I skipped, <laughs> skipped the cutting. But now we're going to cut. Um, all right. We're on six now. Okay, so a cream one inch by four inch strip between two green one inch by four inch strips. Wait, so one cream. Okay, so I need one cream and two greens. Oh, in our case, that's tan, white and tan that are one inch by four inches. And then we have one additional white one. That's a one and a quarter because we have a little fatter line right there. We're gonna have to do this again. Uh, line up those quarter inches when we sew when we sew these guys onto onto this side of those diagonals We just did these right here. So we're gonna have to line them up again later um, uh, We'll probably do that tomorrow though because that's when we assemble like this whole deal here We need to get a few more things done. So I suppose I suppose we can just cut out everything else now um, All right, so we need Let's just see what we need because I think I think I can I think some of these pieces might be the same size. So two strips that are, okay, yeah, so one inch by six and a half, two strips that are one by four, two strips of this, two strips of this, okay. I think we're done with everything except for these, oh wait, two rectangles. Two strips that are one inch by three inch, what are these ones? Okay, there it is. So I think we're, I think we got to cut all these. So let's just, let's just go through this. Let's just go through it. Confusing myself by not cutting it all at the beginning, I think. All right, but it looks like we can cut a couple one inch strips and we'll get, we'll get a lot of what we need. So I got kind of like this beat up piece right here. So I think we'll just cut a few white strips from that. And start off there. Um, I could probably layer a whole pile of fabric like all the different colors on top because it looks like we'll need a lot of these one inch strips but we're gonna take it easy. I'm just gonna do it one at a time. All right I need my glove. All 
and my rotary cutter. Oh my gosh. I can tell that I need to put new rubber bottoms on this because I just totally move the ruler in the middle of that. And you don't want to do that when all you're cutting is like tiny one inch pieces. So recut that. All right, we're going to do the double ruler method so I don't have to move my fabric. So I'm going to put one ruler here on the one inch line. Okay. And then I'm going to match the other ruler up to that. There we go. Move that one out of the way and this will be our one inch. Assuming I can cut straight this time. All right, that's one. I suspect we will need at least another one. Two strips of their six and a half inches. We might need more than one more. Yeah, that will only get us one and then two strips that are four inches. I think we, I think we need to cut two more of these. So might as well, we're here. Don't want to scooch all this out of the way. And then have to cut more. This doesn't feel, oh, there it is. It's just playing tricks with my eye. Kind of at a weird angle right now for cutting, but we're gonna get through it. All right, there's another one. And let's, let's do that one extra one I think we need. Yeah, now that I'm doing this cutting, if you haven't started yet, I would recommend cutting it all out at, at all at once because I'm going to be confused at what white pieces we used already and what we didn't. So now I kind of wish I did this all, already. But I, was, I just wanted to get started with the foundation paper piecing. <laughs> I was uh, too antsy, I suppose. All right, I'm going to trim these up real quick here just, just to make sure that I have what I need already. Um, all right, I am going to kind of layer these though, and I think to do that, I'm going to have to rotate my mat. All right, so let's, let's get a couple of these stacked because we need two of a lot of them. So I can cut those at the same time. I think I'm going to scoot you guys like this so you can see a little bit better. All right. So we can cut that funny end off. There, I'm just trying to line it up nice on a straight edge there. And now I'll use this little, this little ruler. I like this one the best. Okay, so just getting our nice edge. Okay, and now I think I'm going to just use the mat as my ruler. I don't always like to do that, but I, I'm going to do it in this case. So we need two one inch by six and a half ones. Actually, I should just use this ruler for that because this is six and a half inches. So I'm going to just rotate this. Wow, I'm feeling totally inept at cutting today and measuring. Another reason I should have gotten this done already, the, the, all this cutting. All right, here are two six and a half inch ones. Okay, two strips. One inch by six and a half, done. All right, then we need two strips that are four inches. So let's do that. Okay. What else do we need in the white? Okay, so we got the two, we got those two. Oh, we need ones that are one and a quarter by four. We haven't cut that. Oh, I should have cut that already. Oh, well. Um, and then we need, okay, we did these one by threes already. That was for, that was for these little guys. So we don't need that. But we do need these one by two and three quarters. 
And then these ones that we all needed for the, the things. Okay, we just need, that's why I needed one more thing here. I'm gonna double this up. We just need it to be uh, one and uh, one inch and then two and three quarters. All right, I'm on top of it again now. Oh, Andrea, you're, you're, um, you were right next to the Quilt Show and Sisters Oregon. That is a huge, uh, that is like the quilty area. All right, um, I have never been to that show, but uh, people have, I've heard people talk about it. All right, um, two and three quarters. Okay, there we go, that is scrap. All right, so here are our one inch pieces that we need, except those aside, I still need a one and a quarter inch piece that I didn't cut yet. I think this, actually I don't think this is the edge we were using, but it looks pretty square, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just trim from there. So one and one and a quarter and then four inches. So is this eight inches? Yeah, this'll this'll work. Man, do you guys feel that some days gosh, this isn't square. I'm gonna have to trim this. Oh, she said the town is painted with quilts everywhere. Oh, that's so cool, Andrea. Yep, that would be fun to see. All right, I'm doing the two ruler method so I don't have to move this nice straight edge. But I'm telling you, I am really feeling like I should not be cutting anything today. I just feel like measuring and keeping track of things is, is not my game today. We'll just take it slow. All right, here's the one and three, one and one quarter strip. Okay. Whew. All right, I think that's it for the white. We just need to trim this down to four inches. So we'll get the one edge first. Just get a nice clean edge. I think we'll just have, oh no, we'll have a little bit more than four inches. Good. I think we're just gonna cut everything right away as well, just cause I, it's gotta get done and might as well do it now so I don't confuse myself anymore. So, okay, now four inches. That looks good. All right, I have two of these as well now. So these should be all that I need for the white yet. All right, let's do, what's next? The green, which is really our cream. Scooch these out of the way. Um, all right, the green. We need four strips that are one inch by four inch. Okay, we did that already. Oh, that's all we need. We need, um, four strips that are one inch by four inches. So that would be like 12 inches worth. Oh, I got like a good fat quarter thing happening here. So actually if I just fold this in half and get a couple strips out, I think we're gonna be plenty, plenty good. So that'll, this'll be, this'll be a nice easy cut. I'm actually gonna even press these together um, just because I think that'll be easy, easy as well. Oh, feels good to know that the hard part <laughs> is done already. All right, so I'm going to trim this, get get rid of the salvage there. Oh, I would love to see that, just all those quilts everywhere, just hanging up everywhere. How neat is that? That's a place that loves history and 
you know, honors the act of making things and, uh, you know, you gotta applaud that, that's for sure. All right, just because I don't want to move this again, I am going to do the two ruler method. I do that when I don't want to move the fabric. Like these edges are, I folded in half and these are perfectly together. If I move it, um, it's gonna, it's gonna make that less than perfect. So I will get this ruler on here. One inch. Then butt up the second ruler. And there, I didn't have to move my fabric then. It is one inch, isn't it? Yeah, good. All right, I don't need any of this fabric anymore. Awesome, always nice to get rid of the fabric. Okay, and then I still need to cut four four inch strips. So you know what, I think I'm gonna fold this in half again and we'll get her all done all at once. I think my, my uh, cutter can still take it. Hey, Catherine. All right, let's trim. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling good about cutting all these now. <laughs> Getting her done. All right, in this case, I'm just gonna rotate my whole entire mat. Then I don't have to move the fabric. Okay, and then four inches on this. Then we just have the, a couple pieces from our darker fabric to go yet. All right, that's done. Um, plop that there. And now we just need, so this is gonna be our tree trunk. It's just slightly darker. It's a slightly like kind of darker pink, uh, pink tan. I think it's awfully pretty. This might actually be a batik now that I look at it. Oh no, it's, it's got a wrong side. A batik would have been dyed all the way through. You wouldn't have been able to really know the right or wrong side. So this is printed. Um, it's not dyed. Okay. Um, did that. Okay, a brown solid strip that's two inches by nine inches. Two inches by nine inches. That seems awfully odd, doesn't it? Oh, that we trim down to more. Okay, sorry. We need one strip that's one inch by six and a half and then two squares that are one inch by one inch. Okay, so ultimately we need to cut that from a nine inch bit. And I think, oh, this still, oh, I gotta unfold more here. Okay. This length must be, must be nine inches, I would think. Or much more, this is like 12 inches. Is there a shorter, yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna cut it from right there. So let's give that a little press. Have not used this fabric yet. This is another, one of, from my mom. She supplemented my tans, light tans and light yellows uh, when I was visiting them a little while back. So both of these new tans, this tan and this, are, uh, are fresh ones to, to our original ones that we picked. Ah, I can feel it, I'm gonna sew soon. Just gotta get this cutting done. This is the last. Last little chunk here. So I'm cutting off the selvage. That's the part with all the little holes on the edge. Oh, I cut crooked again, but I'll try and cut from down here. All right, um, and then another one incher. Do the double ruler again. Okay, done with that fabric. Whew, we're getting there. So I'm gonna trim, I'm gonna use my little rulers again now, cause I like them. Let's uh, just get up, get one side with a nice edge. All right, and now let's, let's just get this all lined up. Go this way again. Uh-oh, <laughs> oh, I should show, show them that. So you guys, I, um, so my brother um, is at home, my brother Jared, and uh, before I left last, uh, last week, 
or over the, you know, on, on Sunday or whatever, he wanted me to teach him how to do, how you would improv piece a quilt. Um, let me just check this. Yeah, two squares of their one inch. And so he's taking some of my mom's old fabric, just some from her stash, and he's he's uh, improv piecing a quilt top for himself. And let me see if I can find the photo. I got to show you guys. It is looking so freaking amazing so far. So let's. He's done his first few blocks and sew them together. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, it'd be in his messages. Hold on for a sec. There. Check out his, um, his quilt so far. Look at those improv piece things. They look like mountains. I just think they're so cool. I even think he has some Y seams in there, but isn't that awesome? That is, oh, I just think it's the best. Well, I probably can't make it bigger with but look at that. So he's just um, sewing a piece to another piece and it just gets bigger and bigger. But I, I think he is doing like Y seams in here. So that's pretty, that's pretty hardcore. He's getting some really cool looks with that though, with those Y seams. So anyway, looking amazing. So he is, he has apparently stolen the sewing machine. Uh, he decided he was gonna spend the evenings uh, working on that. <laughs> So, all right, and then one strip that's six and a half. But isn't that awesome? I th It's just going to look so amazing when he's done. I'm, I'm super duper excited about it. All right, we have all the pieces cut. Thank goodness. Oh, man, cutting pieces. All right, let's kind of... We can... Um, well, I don't need these pieces yet. This guy I don't need. What else do I need? Okay, I think... Oh, here, now we can start laying out our little guys again. So these get paired up with uh, with these. So we got the two fatter pieces on the bottom. And then we, oop, that was the right side. We have these shorter ones. Oh no, Leslie, that's, that's horrible. Ugh. Hope you get it working again. All right, so these, we need to sew these together. Actually, honestly, they should really go horizontal um, or vertical, let's, let's put it that way. So they're actually like this. So this is um, one half of the tree and then the fat part, this is the other half of the tree. This guy goes down the middle. Let's set this up. I, I like this. Let's let's um, keep doing this as we sew it together. Get over here. These will shrink up once we, once we sew them. Then these guys go on the side. Come on. One goes here. One goes here. And then we got these two guys that will go on the bottom. Ha! Yeah, no kidding, Nolene, exactly. Okay, and then these right sides together. These will sew the corners. So I suppose we have to draw a line on here. Referring to the stitch and flip guide. Yep, all right, so I'm gonna draw, since we got this laid out here, look how, look how much this is gonna shrink down. Isn't this crazy? because like, these are going to go right here and all this is going to actually fit together um which sounds insane to me right now because <laughs> it's just so, so different sizes but let's um while we got our pieces here this looks crazy um let's take these pieces and draw our line on them let's see my pencils around here okay can't find my pencil but i got my colored pencil still here so let's grab a ruler and even see this there we go actually I can see it really well so there we go um, we need it to open like this there so gosh I just totally confused myself so we'll sew directly along the line and then we'll cut this part off and then when we flip it it will um, look like that okay man 
brain just cannot conceptualize things today. I'm having a day, people. Like I couldn't um, figure out how that flips down, but there we go. So we'll sew these and we got to sew these strips together. So let's, we'll do all that at once and we'll just keep chain piecing it. Get the book out of the way again and let's get sewing. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to do the first column from that first piece. There we go. And I think if I remember last time, I was being maybe a little too scant on my scant quarter inch. So I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to still do my best to keep it scant, but if I air a little bit bigger, like if I go over this tape a little, I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right, and I'm gonna take the first two in the second column, which happens to be, one of those is the big one. Gosh, it's so hard to tell if this is the right or wrong side, which with such light colors or fabric. All right, and you know what? I'm gonna take this guy and do this right away. So um, typically for pieces that you sew on the diagonal like this, it, I, I don't like doing it this direction where you have this point that's going into the machine because that can sometimes push the fabric down into the mis machine. So I'm gonna do it this way where I have this long piece uh, instead. So we're gonna go right here and All right, not too bad, and scissors. All right, I'm gonna take the, the first one off. I'm only taking the first piece off. So this was the first, this was in the column of the first row. And you know what, I think I'm gonna just add the next piece to it. Oop, that's not the next piece. Here we go, like this. Am I messing this up? Nope, like this. All right. Man, the way I'm, my brain is working today, I wouldn't be surprised if I accidentally end up with like one of these going like, like having the, putting the wrong sides of the fabric together or something like that. We're gonna get through it though. All right, so this is the first column of the second. Let's add the third piece onto there. I would love to get these pieces just about together tonight. Then tomorrow we just have to sew this up quick. Um, we might, we might have to get another little project out. So. If we get this done really quick tomorrow, we'll either see how we feel and if we want to keep going um, with, with another project, we will. But I don't think we're going to, if we get this done quickly tomorrow, I don't think we're going to start the octopus um, block uh, at the same time. Because I'd like to do that, um, I'd like to do that in its own period of time. I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll be a good idea to start that um, so late. Let's move that a little bit. There we go. We'll start that one fresh on Monday. All right, we're almost there. Here is here is one of our bottom pieces. There we go. This one. Um, and then this was our first one again. We need to sew our last piece onto there. Oh, we could maybe do that. We could maybe um, prep. That's a good idea, Catherine. We could uh, 
we have so many blocks finished now, which is awesome. We could start uh, sewing them into squares. We get a lot of, um, we can do a lot of prep for for free motion quilting. That's a good idea. Then then we'll still be working on the same project. All right, we'll do that. We'll finish sewing this block together tomorrow. And assuming it goes pretty quickly, and I think it will, we'll, uh, I think I have some sashing left. We'll start sewing together some of our finished blocks. I think that is the perfect plan. Good. Get some of those ready to go. All right, this is the last piece. Whoop. Last piece before we press all of this. All right. <laughs> I just like the sound this machine makes. All right, snip and snip. All right, let's press this stuff. Man, I need one of those holders for the book so it can stand up like that, I think. This is just getting crazy moving all this stuff around. Or I should just clean my table again. That that might be the fix. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to... We'll start out with these. So let's see. How are these pressed? Okay. So this is pressed like the other one. We're pressing towards the dark. So we're actually pressing both of these inward, um, which is a little awkward. Uh, but let's do it. We'll do these top two first. There we go. And then this one goes this way. Okay, based on where these seam allowances are landing, I might have sewed this one a little small, but we'll see. Get that guy flat. Wow, look how much smaller it got. From when it was all all laid out. Look how little it's all of a sudden the size of our of our piece here now. Crazy. There, that will match up like that. All right, let's press this one again towards the dark, which in our case is this light tan. Get that in. Both of these at once. All right, a bit like that. Oh, Leslie Ann, uh, it's actually going a lot better than I thought. I was pretty intimidated by it uh, as well. Um, I think this is what is this video three of this? So check out on YouTube the the last two videos. Um, that hopefully will be helpful. All right, uh, I think that guy's done. So we just have uh, a couple more things to press. We have these guys. So we actually need to trim this edge off. So we need to trim it to the quarter inch seam allowance. But I like pressing first because you can use these edges as a guide to get to get this pressed and just square. In the, in the right spot. So we're going to leave that on. We're not going to cut it yet. All right, I got to get my finger in there. Let's get that in the right position. There we are. Then we'll press there. And uh, um, we will trim it now. But let's let's get this other one pressed first. Again, I'm going to use this flip to like this edge that we're going to cut off. I'm going to use that as a guide. So I press this and it ends up in the nice square spot. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to just take my scissors, which I think is hiding underneath here. And I'm going to lift up that top piece. Don't forget that part. There we go. And I'm going to trim this to the quarter inch seam allowance. 
And if you forget to do this, it's not going to be the end of the world. You'll just have sewn in a couple extra little pieces to the back. But there we go. So that's one piece. And here's the opposite one. There we go. You can use a rotary cutter if you want, but the pieces are so small that you don't really need to. Okay. So now, now I think we are kind of at the assembly stage. So I think this might be where we stop for the night. Um, so tomorrow we will have, we'll have to match up these edges Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to sew these two pieces on because those seem easy enough where I don't have to think. I just have to match them up like that. Um, and then tomorrow we'll match up these seams just like how we did uh, tonight with um, the pins and the, the clips. We'll see how well we do this time <laughs> uh, on those. So that, that's going to take more energy. So I, I have just enough time to sew these, these fellers on. Let's make sure I'm, they're in the right spot. Yep. We'll do those two, shoop, and then call it a day. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, yeah, then tomorrow we'll work on sewing it all together, matching up those points really well like we did earlier today. And then, uh, ooh, I think the air conditioner might be blowing the camera a little bit. Uh, but yeah, then we'll, we'll take a look at our blocks that we have done so far and uh, start putting some sashing on them, getting them, getting them together. I, I like that idea a lot. Something sounded a little funny there, but maybe, maybe not. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, so uh, it sounds like you guys are taking care of this, but yeah, if if something happens to your phone, that shouldn't really affect your Facebook account. So you should still have all your groups and all that. But yeah, you might have to, if it's acting up, you might have to uninstall the app and install it again, but still, it'll know your login and, and all that. So that's that shouldn't be connected with the phone. So you should be able to get some of that stuff back, I would think. All right. Oh, let's press these and then we'll be for sure done with that bottom part. That guy's finished. All right. Last little bit. All right. We are pressing these upward. It looks like, oh, that's, that's surprising. I would have thought it would be this way, but it's, but it's not. We're going to press them up. That seems like a lot of extra fabric up there to do that, but all right, we're doing it. That's what the instructions say. Usually when you press, it's kind of the path of least resistance. And since there's so many seams here, so much fabric, it wants to point down. But that's not how the instructions are. The instructions are for it to point up like that. So I don't know. Let's do it. So let's, let's see. Let's, um, I like doing it this way, giving it a little press with the piece on top. And then pressing in that direction. Kind of pressing it a little crooked though. Let's do a little better job. All right, there's one looking good. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. All right, that's gonna attach right there. Let's put this guy on the top just to see what he's See what it's gonna look like a little better. Get that guy in there. All right, I'm just putting that underneath. Okay, and and this guy here. My brother's gonna finish that quilt in no time at all. Oh, I can't wait to see it. We will have to, uh, hopefully he lets me share it with you guys, at least a, a photo of it. I can't wait to see it. 
That'll be good when he goes back to the ski hills and <laughs> needs to stay warm. All right, let's get a sense of, of this now. So, all right, once we sew it together, we'll lose a little bit here as well. This guy can go there. Let's put this one down first. Tuck them underneath there. Cute! Okay, these pale colors I think turned out kind of sweet for this. It's just really subtle, but I love it. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're getting there with this guy. It'll it'll shrink itself up once we um once we start sewing once we start getting rid of the seam allowances. But I'm liking it. It's it's awfully sweet, I think. All right, man, it's fun. It's fun that you know you can do things with super bright colors, but you can do things with just really pale colors too, and it still it stills nice. I love it. Turned out great. Um, I'm, I'm super stoked. Okay, you guys, I'm going to flip you around and we'll call it an evening here. I think we had some good luck with points today. I'm, I'm happy about that. Oh, um, I, I did not, Bonnie. So Bonnie's asking if I shared any of my, my husband's and my dad's glass blowing projects. Um, I didn't, I don't think, but I don't have any of my dad's here, but... I can gather a few of my husband's, so maybe I will uh, share a couple of those tomorrow as well. That would be kind of fun. They just turned out so cool, this glass blowing. Um, on Netflix, oh gosh, I don't remember what it's called now, but oh gosh, what is it? But anyway, on Netflix, there's a, a new show. It's like one of those, uh, one of those, it's not a game show, but what do you call that word? A competition show. It's a competition show for glass blowing, you know, like Project Runway or that sort of style, but for, for glass blowing. And I just watched it and it's fun to see. I mean, it's intense stuff. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I will share some of what they made uh, or what my, what John made tomorrow. Uh, if, I, if I remember, I'll try and remember that though. I'll put it on my notes. But yeah, it's so fun. All right, you guys, uh, I'll get this up on YouTube at Penguin and Fish Movies. And yeah, if you um, if you haven't done this block yet, uh, this will be video three. So there's two other videos uh, on this. I have all the videos grouped per block. So you can find the Happy Willow block and it will be there. Uh, it's it's the latest block on, on my list there. Um, so that'll have the, the first two videos where we do some of the foundation paper piecing. So, all right, you guys, thank you again. Uh, I will see you tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Central. And we will finish up this block and start sewing together our uh, pieces prepping for the quilting again. Great. See you guys tomorrow. Good night.